Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to this uh, session on uh, 14 uh, days of uh, 14 tips on law of attraction. And um, I just want to say uh, thank you to my wife because she's the one who suggested since we have gone into MCO. And she said, you know, why not I do this uh, 14 days uh, tips since everybody's at home and everybody's wondering what to do. So I thought, okay, I will share with you 14 tips in the next 14 days. Each day, I'll come online uh, about 8.30 to share the tips with you. And uh, it will be it will be definitely a, um, only about 15, the most is about 15, 20 minutes, okay? Because I don't want to talk so much. And I think uh, it's important for you to understand that. I just want to give a tip each day, which you can start practicing for the next 14 days, and for you to be able to um, understand and appreciate uh, the fact that this is a very uh, powerful uh, 14 tips, you know, on each day that you can start practicing them. Um, also, uh, if you can, go to Kathigeja Sivalingam uh, YouTube channel and subscribe. Go to YouTube channel under Kathigeja Sivalingam and subscribe because what I will do there is that I will um, uh, put in the, the videos uh, every day that I record. Right? So I will do the recording today. Then I'll actually do the videos, so you could actually uh, watch the video. So even if you miss any of the days, you can actually, if you have, if you already subscribed in my YouTube channel, you'll actually get a chance to see the videos. Yeah. So my suggestion is, um, after now, after this, uh, you remember my name is Kathigeja Sivalingam. Go to YouTube channel, look for Kathigeja Sivalingam, and then subscribe so that when I start posting all these videos every day, you'll get a copy of the video so that you will then. Um, can forward to other people and you can also watch it in case you missed it. Yeah, so let's start today is day one and I want to talk about day one today So like I said, it's not a very long, you know session. It's just going to be about 15 minutes um, That I want to share with you today is day one and day one. Um, when you talk about law of attraction, you're talking about Attracting uh, I always talk about good health wealth and happiness uh, attracting health wealth and happiness That's what it's all about, right? And that's what we want. We want to be able to attract health, wealth, and happiness. Okay, um, so it's important for you to understand that uh, when you're talking about attracting health, wealth, and happiness, uh, you want to be able to um, increase your energy to a level where you can get it. I always say that it's all about vibrations. A lot of attraction is all about vibrations. You know, like if you've got a good handphone, but if you if you're in the lift or you're in a basement that there's no reception and you won't get it. So similarly, money won't come to you. Money won't come to you if you are not able to um, uh, have the right energy. Yeah? And so the exercise I'm going to give you today will be to that. Now, let me give you a little background. As I've told you before, uh, for those of you who do not know, well, my parents were Robert Tepes. I grew up in an estate. And as I was growing up, I had this, um, uh, we call it scarcity mentality. Scarcity mentality means you always think, I am very suicidal to get money. La, you know, cannot la, money won't come. Poor people won't have money. La. You know, this is my salary. I can only have this car. And this is my salary. I can only have this house. Or, you know, I can only afford to do this for my family. I can only eat here and so on and so forth. Like, for example, um, though I, I wanted to have a big bungalow house at one point in time. Now, I, I, I that is all over. I'm talking about earlier. Uh, I, when I wanted a big bungalow house, um, but then again, I was thinking, but but you know, I'm just an auditor. I'm wondering, so how can I have a bungalow house? Then then you'll you'll give excuses like, oh, you know, but you've got bungalow house. I mean, thieves can come and enter in four different directions. Like maybe just have a terrace house or an apartment, that kind of thing, or a car. I wanted to have a Mercedes Benz or BMW. Now I've had those cars before. But what I'm just saying is that before I had all that, this is way before when my mentality was still on a scarcity mentality. So I'm going to show you how to get into a prosperity mentality shortly. Yeah? But scarcity mentality is where you have all this NOLA. So when I wanted to have a car and I say, oh, nice, I'm a city. But I say, why do you want to buy such an expensive car? After all, car is to go from point A to point B, right? Or, you know? So you don't have expensive. All cars go four tire. Mercedes go four tire. The Proton is four tire. You see how we console ourselves. How we, you know, I, I I mean, like I, somebody told me, I'll never buy a Mercedes. Why? Yeah? Because when you scratch, yeah, you might spend 10000 again. This is all mentality. Not that you don't want a Mercedes, but you sometimes feel you can't get it, and therefore you console yourself, you know? Or even for the matter, going to Starbucks to have a cup of coffee. Many years ago, I won't go to Starbucks. Why I won't go? I mean, still now, so I don't hardly go to Starbucks because I, I love the Kadai Mama coffee more than Starbucks coffee. But I go to Starbucks only for business deals and all. But what I'm saying is that, the, the the mentality is I won't go to Starbucks. Why? Why would I pay 10 ringgit, 12 ringgit for coffee 
when I can just go and buy for one ringgit, two ringgit, you know. But I know most of you, if you go to Starbucks, you finish the coffee. You know why? Because it's 12 ringgit. And as you're drinking it, you realize it's still got eight ringgit left. When you're drinking it, you see it's got four ringgit left. Drink it. So that's what I used to do anyway, not you. I used to do I used to drink coffee and say, oh my God, got another seven ringgit there. Oh my God, got another two ringgit there. Because I pay so much for a coffee. So I had this kind of mentality where I didn't want to spend. I didn't want to. I even used to joke that when I go with my wife to... Uh, shopping center and all and as i'm walking you know if i see a jewelry shop whatever i quickly like you know sayang sayang don't go there let's go this way to divert her to another side because i don't want to go there and i don't want to buy expensive things so this was when um i had one income and uh, uh i i had this what you call scarcity mentality now this is a very important fact for, for all of you because when you come out of this scarcity mentality and go into a prosperity mentality money will come from many many directions it will come, you'll attract, just like I said, when you have a good phone uh, or a phone and you are on the top of a building or if somebody, a reception is fantastic. But if you're in a basement, no matter how good a phone is, the reception is not good. So when you have got this pres prosperity energy, many things you got to do in order to get that energy. I, I think many of you heard or me talk about Ho'oponopono and Ho'oponopono is one of the ways to cleanse your karma to get the energy. That's, that's yeah, I've already covered that last Saturday. Uh, and next 14 days, uh, let's see whether I have time to cover that as well. But today, today, okay, today is the 14 days. We are starting MCO in Malaysia. And uh, so I want you to know that, you know, maybe the next uh, uh, 30 days, I want you to do this exercise. Now, for some of you, the exercise I'm going to tell you is something I've already covered many times before. I've done it last year and all. I don't know whether you did, you have been doing or whether you're still doing, whether you've forgotten about it. But I know a lot of new people are following me now and a lot of new people have come on board. So maybe this is new for you. If not, don't worry. New or old doesn't matter. Do this exercise. It's called a doubling money exercise. So the day one exercise I'm going to share with you today is called a doubling money exercise. Is that clear? Doubling money exercise. What do you need to do? Get an exercise book or old exercise book. doesn't matter. But all the pages are empty. Lah. That's the most important thing. And I want you to do an exercise for the next 30 days. Is that clear? So what I want you to do is this, when you get this exercise book, okay, whether it's a long shot, doesn't matter, just an exercise book, preferably a normal school exercise book. Lah, huh? Okay, so what I want you to do on the first page, you, you on the first page, you just put the, um, the doubling of money exercise, okay, and then put the date, put today's date. Today's date is 1st of June, right? So the first page, the first page right there, 1st of June. And below the 1st of June or anywhere there on top, put the 100 ringgit, just write the 100 ringgit. Is that clear? 100 ringgit. Is that clear? Okay, so uh, I will tell you what to do shortly, but okay, then the next page, day two, second of June, then put the uh, 200 ringgit. Then day three, um, double the money, yeah, 400 ringgit. Day four, 800 ringgit. Okay, day five, uh, 1,600 ringgit. Is that clear? Um, uh, day six, uh, 3,200 ringgit. So you, you just need to do this. Each page, you need to write down. Now, you need to understand this, huh? Though I'm going to talk to you for the next 14 days, this exercise you got to do every day starting from today. So today you do only for 1st of June. I repeat, today you only do for 1st of June. Tomorrow, you write down 2nd June. Uh, if you can write down today, it doesn't matter. But tomorrow, you put a 2nd June, put there 200 and do the exercise for tomorrow. What you need to do, I'll tell you shortly. Then the day after, 3rd of June, you put the 3rd of June. And then you put there 400. So double, the money goes uh, 100, 200, 400, 800. 1,006, 3,002, 6,004, 12,008. Uh, it goes on like that. Okay. 25,600, so on and so on. One whole month. At the end of the month, at the end of the one month, you will have about two or three billion ringgit. Let's put it that way. Yeah? Okay. Now, what you need to do is very simple. Okay. The whole exercise is this. Yeah. Every day, you want to start spending that money. Now, this is not your own money. This is just um, tipu tipu money. La. This is artificial money. This is like monopoly money. Yeah? So feel free to spend. Okay. So, uh, you have 100 ringgit extra today. So today, 1st of June. Again, extra. You have 100 ringgit extra today. What would you do with the money? What would you do? Now, you have to spend. You can either spend on yourself or spend on your family, but you need to spend. Okay? You need to spend. Now, so you say, oh, okay, um, 100 ringgit. I want to take my family. Don't don't think about MCO or can I go out. Don't think about it. This is just a game. Okay? So don't don't get all worked up. Oh, I can't go anywhere, Mr. Kati, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. Just a game. Okay? So you put there 100 ringgit and then you put there uh, uh, what do you call it? I, I will take my whole family for a, uh, a banana leaf rice or satisori rice or Japanese food, you know, which comes about 90. But specific, lah, I'm going to take them to sushi mentai. We, very important, and many of us don't think about many places because we think it's too expensive. We never think about holiday destination because we think it's too expensive. We never think about good hotel because we think it's too expensive. 
So if you want to increase your mentality, your prosperity mentality, you must start thinking about how to spend money. I think many of you have heard of this story about like a monkey is given a flower. Why would God give you money if you don't know what to do with the money? Why? See, I was like that for many years ago. After when I was in Bangalore, I know I only make so much of money. I can only spend, spend, spend. And money never came. My expenses were there. Money never came. Many of you, I'm telling you, will tell me, but Mr. Kathy, you know, I don't make some. The reason is because your mentality is this one too expensive. This one too expensive. This one cannot afford. The one cannot afford. So what I'm going to give you is this exercise for you to do for the next 30 days. And you're going to use this 30 days to actually spend the money. Just, just like I said, spend the money, not real money. Lah. You're only spending the money to... Uh, uh, how shall I say, uh, spend the money to uh, buy things or do things that you want to do, right? So every day starting today, you must do this exercise. Is that clear? We can have a bit of fun now, I'm just telling you, but you must do day by day. Eh? Don't do everything today. Eh? must not do today itself, do day one, day two. No, you must do day one today. Slowly you must increase your prosperity, okay? So for example, today you put that day one, okay, you do that. Tomorrow, you need to do the same thing. Now you've got 200 ringgit. You can double it again. What will you do? Oh, okay, 200 ringgit. I think I'm going to buy a pair of uh, uh, shoes. Uh, maybe normally you'll buy Bata shoes. Okay, now you say, I think I'm going to go buy a Reebok, lah, 180 ringgit. See, because it's, it's not real money, but your thinking is increasing. See, God will give you money if you know what to do. Why would God give you money if you don't know what to do? I will tell you, many of you will be stuck by the 15th day. 15th day, you'll have one over million ringgit. And if I, and you spend the one million today, tomorrow you'll have two million, right? And then I, I, you spend one million, you'll have two million tomorrow. Right? And I will ask you, um, you know, uh, what are you going to do with that one million? Don't know, lah, Mr. Kati. One million is a lot of money. Never thought, ah, if you say, I never thought about it, you will never make the money. Money will never come to you because your prosperity is low. Your prosperity is, uh, I'm poor. Your prosperity is, uh, energy is low. You are in the scarcity mentality. So, uh, 200 ringgit tomorrow. Okay, so what would I do? I you know I, I will buy parachute. Okay, then the day after go 400 ringgit. What would you do? 400 ringgit. Huh? Okay, I think I'm going to buy a handbag for my wife. Uh, I want to buy this particular handbag from this particular shop. Okay, the next day 800 ringgit. 800 ringgit. Huh? Like I said, don't forget about MCO. Huh? Don't think about MCO. Huh? Then you say, okay, uh, on the third day, fourth day, you got 800 ringgit. 800 ringgit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my whole family. We're going to go and stay in a hotel in um, Fordickson for three days. Lah. Long time, never take my friend, family for a holiday. And we're going to eat well and, you know, spend. Okay, then got 1,600. What are you going to do? The next day again, what are you going to do? 1,600. Okay, I think I'm going to do, buy an air ticket for my wife to go to Trichy, India. Because she's always been wanting to go to India. No, you know. Then the next day is 3,000. What are you going to do with it? Uh, I'm going to take the 3,000 and give it to my mother to spend in India. See, you are already starting to think what to do, what to do, what to do. And, you know, when you were like, you know, on the 15th day, you got a million ringgit in your account. And you're thinking, I think I'm going to buy an apartment today for my first son. You know, oh, I'm going to buy an apartment today. Let's say I'm going to buy an apartment today uh, for investment you buy. Next day, you got two million. Can And you say, oh my God, I got two million. Okay, okay, I got two kids. I'm going to buy one apartment. for. You see how the brain works now? The brain will start thinking, oh my God, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Can... This is all tipu money, meaning to say it's just a game. But when you start thinking like that, it will come. See, the, the, the thing is this. Many of you don't realize this, right? Nowadays, when you look at newspaper, and then they say, first class travel. Ah, yeah, first class. Economy also cannot afford first class. How? You see, you bring down. But now, because you're doing the exercise, you need to go and see first class how much. Huh? Oh, to go to Dubai, first class is 34,000 again. Well, well, I think on the 14th day, I can travel to Dubai. You know, you see how the mind works now. You see? Or you will say, I, I want to go around the world. Huh? I think I'll just take a, uh, I only can afford 20,000. I just wear a, you know, uh, what a haversack or nap, a knapsack and then I just take cheap, cheap, you know, uh, I know I'll go and stay in all these cheap places. But what if you've got a million ringgit to spend and you can go around the world? What would you do? You will go luxury. You will live in five-star hotels. And you know what? I've gone through all this. Though my parents were rubber tempers, after I did this exercise and started to feel it, money came. When money came, I got my bungalow house, la, I got my cars, la, I traveled to many countries. Many, many countries. You know, I've been to 60, 70 countries already now. And I've been to many countries for holidays. And the reason is because I'm telling you this, it is because you need to increase your prosperity energy for money to come. It's very important for you to understand that if your energy is low, money won't come. If your phone has no reception, you will never get any calls, even though your phone is a good phone. Even though your phone is an expensive phone, even though it's an iPhone 11, you still cannot do anything. Why? Because you don't have reception. So this exercise will allow you. So I'm going to repeat. Uh, before I finish off, uh, day one today, the exercise is actually called um, doubling money exercise. 
objective of the exercise is to increase your prosperity energy. What you needed to do is to get an exercise book and you must start the exercise from today to 30 days. After 30 days, you restart again with 100 ringgit. Is that clear? So today is June 1st. You put 100 ringgit and you'll say, what will I do with this money today? Okay. Tomorrow, take out the notebook again and this time you put there. You can do it in the morning. You can do it at night whenever you're free. Okay. Tomorrow, you put there. Uh, okay, June 2nd, I got 200. What will I do? To, now, I want you to, until until you've moved on to maybe the you know 10 day, 12 days, then only I'll pay off my loan, I'll save money, I'll give to charity. At this point in time, don't think about charity and everything else. Is that clear? I want you to enjoy the money first. I want you to feel good. Don't like, oh, no, la, la, la. I, the moment I get, I give charity. The moment I get, I give charity. Listen, I will tell you this something. God never sent you to in this world to do charity. God sent you in the world to enjoy your life, have a good life. When you have a lot, give a lot. But you need to have a lot to give a lot. So you need to understand that you must increase your prosperity so you can make a lot of money so you can go and help a lot of people. But if you yourself, now itself, you don't have much and you want to everything, want to give charity, want to give charity, want to give it, you become a charity case. So it's important for you to understand the concept about uh, prosperity. You understand, Anna? God loved people who are rich. Why? Not, I, I, don't get, don't mistake me. I'm not talking about, you know, God loves rich people. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that God has so many to take care. The divinity has so many to take care. If you make money, you can help a lot of people. But for you to make a lot of money, you need to have the right energy. For you to have the right energy, you need to do this exercise because the exercise really, really, really help you to bring in prosperity into your life. Is that clear? So, um, like I said, so do it every day, uh, starting from today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can actually, whenever you watch this video, you can you can type in the question. Uh, I can go through the Facebook account. I'll check the questions and answer the question as we go along because as we do the question, the next one day, one day, one week, two weeks, you might have questions again as you watch the video. So type in. The other thing I want to tell you is again, please go to my my uh, YouTube channel under Kartikeya Sivalingam. Subscribe. Go there and click subscribe so that starting from tomorrow, I will start putting every day the videos and you can get the videos, watch the videos and you can also send to other people to do it. All right. So that's all from me today. Um, you know, God bless all of you. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Uh, and, and I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 with another tip. Day two tip. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye.